we don't have any tobacco. This is how the multi-million pound trade in illicit cigarettes is being tackled. Our cameras joined raids by trading standards officers using specially trained sniffer dogs. They're out to catch the suppliers. Typically retailers will only have a small amount in the shop just for that night's sale or that day's sale and then they'll bring more in tomorrow. So this is probably just a fraction of what uh, the owner has somewhere but we won't be able to find it unless it's in the shop. This is part of the illicit trade in tobacco that's alarming not just trading standards officials, but also health and fire experts. You might not recognize any of these brands, but the new figures we've seen suggest it's time you knew about them. Trade in these illicit brands is growing. Around a third of trading standards departments reported that packs of 20 are selling for as little as £3. The most common illegal brands seized were Fest Pect, Jin Ling and Richmond. And the most frequent source of these smuggled cigs was reported as Poland and Russia. And here's the problem. Legal cigarettes are made so that if left... Just a sec they self-extinguish, but the illicit brands don't. And this test by fire officers starkly shows the danger. June Buffum died in a fire caused just like that. Her daughter has now joined the fight against the illegal cigarette brands. People are potentially saving themselves six or seven pounds a packet. If you see a brand you know are not a legitimate brand, please at least advise the person that they could potentially um, a be doing themselves a lot of harm health-wise and b could potentially cause a fire and cost them their lives. They're manufactured either. And tonight a warning that these illegal brands are on the rise. White cigarettes as they're known um, have, have grown exponentially over the last few years and, and now actually dominate the illicit market and are traded all around the world. Um, I mean, it's really important we get on top of this problem and that retailers aren't tempted in trying to st stock these. People tempted by the small price of these cigs are being reminded of some very big danger. Chris Choi, ITV News.